when we make India safe, stable and strong, we contribute to making the entire world safe, stable and strong. This has been my proud privilege to contribute for achieving this objective throughout my life. One of the most impressionable moments of my life were on 11th of September 2001. At 5 p.m. in the evening, I was at Delhi airport to see off an army commander who was flying to the United States. The aircraft would not take off from Delhi. At 8 o'clock in the evening, we learned that the Twin Towers had fallen. It was a sad moment for me. This gave me greater courage, sagacity and commitment to remain focused and continue my war against terrorism. When we look at a common adversary like terrorism, it is very critical that the entire world community operates together to deal with such a contingency. Firstly, by deploying forces and secondly is win the hearts and minds of people so that they get quality education, they get employment, and so only when you deny them, these people want to join the bandwagon of terrorism. And during my tenure of command of the division in Kashmir, I had literally got about 600 terrorists who came across and surrendered with their weapons. And the parents, the people, the awam of Kashmir were very happy to find their own relatives returning. And when the union would take place, I would see the tears down the eyes of the mother and the wife and the sister and the brother. That proved to me that surrendering was more beneficial than simply eliminating them all. My father served in the military for 30 long years. My sister's husband also worked in the military for 30 years. And I have been in the military for 40 years. So this combination of three people generates 100 years. We have probably seen every military operation in the subcontinent here. And it gives us great satisfaction, pride, and above all, joy and happiness. My wife is always peeved because she always thought as a retired soldier, I'll have more time at home. And she keeps telling me that Ramesh, you have never retired. You seem to have only changed your clothes. You have only re-attired. But those few moments that I am with her, we are happy that together we are doing great work for our country. Ultimately, it comes down to a single point, and that is you want to pass on to the next generation certain values that they will cherish and make the next generation better than what we were. We will ensure that the world remains peaceful in all its manifestations. That is a solemn pledge that India shall always exercise to the full capacity that it has grown to.